Welcome guys, Go Filiprovski here. So I'm here for the second day. We are going to see quite a lot today actually. So plenty to see in the vlog. Um, I'm trying to walk through the streets that people don't normally walk through. I don't I avoid the main road where it's very busy and I cannot record there because it's too loud. Uh, right now I'm walking to this famous place where I get to see real human skulls. Obviously the the bones and skeletons and skulls have been well looked after. So today I'm going to a place called the Cimitero delle Fontanelle. I haven't researched the place a lot so it's a little bit of a spontaneous trip but I'm really interested to see it because I saw a few videos on the internet and a little bit of pictures taken by uh, tourists and I find the place really interesting so I would like you guys to see it as well. Hope you enjoy it. <laughs> We're getting close to the, um, our first destination. So being here for the first time, I think it's pretty impressive. If you guys are here in Napoli, I think it's a cool place to visit. You get to see pretty much a lot of skulls and a lot of bones and skeleton parts, human parts. And the best thing about it, it's completely free. <laughs> I haven't really researched about it as much. But I think I've read somewhere that these are the people from Napoli that died many, many, many years ago. Not 100% sure though. Right now I'm walking to this uh, big park in the north side of Napoli. Uh, again, I haven't researched it, but it's got a museum in the middle of it. I don't know what the entry cost is, but we're still going inside either way. <laughs> so guys, I have finally reached the museum. It's just behind me, as you can see. It's called Museo di Capo di Monte. I think it's one of the biggest in Napoli. It's right at the top side of the city, so... If there wasn't any buildings there, I guess we would have a nice view. I'll try to walk around the park and see if I can get the view. I think I can from the other side. I have no idea if the museum is open today. But I'm still here for the nature and the park. Because in this city, there's hardly any grass. Hardly any green things. So guys, I have just entered the museum. You get a, a phone with headphones that speaks in English and automatically changes every room you enter, so it's pretty interesting. 
Um, I will show you only, only a little bit of the museum, not all of it, so you guys can see it for yourself. But it's pretty interesting, I've never seen it. This is so cool. The music playing on the headphones and the, the guy tells you the story. So, mister, what card are you going to play? I think he's winning. I think he's winning. Cheeky. You're a cheeky one, ain't you? <laughs> yep. Yeah. He's definitely losing. Oh, and your cards fell on your trousers, unless you're cheating. And what are you drinking? I hope it's vodka. <laughs> this is Italy, so it's probably wine. <laughs> oh. Amazing. <laughs> place is huge. You can easily get lost. <laughs> I got lost like four times already, but I keep finding new and new things. Um, the pictures I find boring, the paintings, well, the big ones I love, not the small ones. And a couple of armory items, swords, guns. All history of Napoli. Napoli. Like this one. Amazing. This one is actually amazing. I'd love to have that in my room. <laughs> so guys, I have just finished the museum tour. Got lost about six, seven times. It is very interesting. It is one of the best museums I've seen actually. Um, interesting how they give you the phone with all the information and you got a guy speaking in your ear uh, about the history and when you change rooms the audio clip changes with the pictures and you've also got a map in there so it's hard to get lost but i did get lost uh, six times even though i had the map uh, now i'm just walking uh, around this park around the museum i want to see some landscapes of the city because we're at the high ground here and just to let you know guys like you need some good fitness if you want to walk around napoli like, I decided not to take metro as much, or bus and public transport. Uh, first of all, because of the recent news about the coronavirus, which at the moment, yeah, I'm just trying to stay away from as much people as I can. Wash my hands many times, as many times as I can. And, uh, and yeah, <laughs> hopefully they can get rid of the virus, you know, before it starts spreading, you know. And... Uh, so the weather today is a little bit colder than yesterday um, but it's still quite warm comparing to where i'm from it gets to minus 10 minus 5 last month although we didn't have such big winter this year 
already I'm seeing beautiful views in front of me. I'll just have to get the balcony to show you guys. There is a little balcony to see the landscape of the city. Um, when I looked on the map, I thought the museum was close to the um, cemetery that I saw with the skulls and things, but I was wrong. It took me like a good 20, 30 minutes to walk it, but I love walking, so why not? <laughs> And if I didn't walk, I wouldn't be able to show you things that you're about to see in a minute. <laughs> so look at that, guys. Amazing views. Whoa. That is so cool. That is unreal. <laughs> I'm gonna start walking back towards the park and I want to talk a little bit about last night so last night as you know on the volcano I met Josef and uh, uh, Alexa his girlfriend they are from Budapest they're also travelers and <laughs> we bumped into each other because they took the train before me and I took the train after so they got to the city a bit early and they managed to take the metro home as well and we met at the famous pizza street um, in uh, Napoli in the city in the city center so we spoke a little bit about our countries about our travels our history and you know, our personalities so on got to know each other better and uh, it was really nice to meet you guys and uh, it was a lovely time last night so I hope you guys enjoyed the park tour and the museum tour that's all for today and I'll see you guys in the next vlog.